to talk about hair hacks. So these are simple, simple things that you might want to try. Uh, they will make your life easier. I've been looking through your notes, Grace. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so true. So let's start with um, doing five minute curls using a high ponytail. So you want some curl in your hair. Right. What do you do about it? Well, okay, so you want some curl in your hair. You got five minutes, your hair is really long, but you want it to look really, really good. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is just basically put it in a high ponytail. Yeah. Right, put it on you know, an elastic. Right, of course I got clips Show in this here. Way. Right, so you see your hair is all down. So all I did basically was curl the ends. Of course these things are coming out now. <laughs> this is how it will actually on happen at home because they yeah. would get stuck for us. Yeah, yeah, they would. That's what would happen. <laughs> and then I've got like one of these um, uh, cords in her hair that are, doesn't give any demarcation in. Right. And so basically what you do is you take it out so you started, with a, you started in a high ponytail for a reason though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, because you just want to be able to curl the ends. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Okay. So then you just take it down and you have this most beautiful curl going on. Sorry, getting it out. I'm hurting it. <laughs> like that. See, you got beautiful curls. So it gives her some bounce. So it gives her some bounce and her hair was pretty straight before. Right. So it just gives that and it's just the ends of the hair that's curled so it's moved. Now, it's like the your other hair thing, grew is the uh, <laughs> is this cute little idea here yeah as we know necessity is a mother of invention yeah so this is a toilet paper roll that we've used <laughs> we all got them <laughs> we all got them in for the top of the hair and what yeah. it does is gives a little bit of lift that's awesome. right so look at that that's pretty cool right that's so easy so what you could do is put your hair in the high ponytail do the little curl put the toilet paper roll in do your makeup yeah 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 and when yeah. that's done yeah. you take all the toilet paper roll out and everything else and I don't love let that. your guy come in the bathroom and see what's going on no one's allowed to know <laughs> So for everyone watching City Line. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next, let's talk a little bit about using a uh, spare toothbrush because there's things you could do with it. I know some people use spare toothbrushes to clean their sneakers. Yeah. Take another one that's clean and you can use it to help out with your hair. How will right. it help? The other thing, that you, a couple of things you can do. You could take a little bit of gel, uh, put it on your, your, your brush, mm -hmm. and then you would use it basically to smooth out the flyaways that are on your hair. I love the other that. thing you can do is also use it for teasing your hair. You oh. can put a little bit in there and it gives really good tease, give a lot of lift. See? Yeah. Your oh, toothbrush! <laughs> when those waves were in back in the day, it was all about the toothbrush up in there. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah. Now, if your house is anything like mine, there's bobby pins everywhere. You right. have a simple solution for where we can put our bobby pins. Where should in we put them? In your empty Tic Tac box. Oh. <laughs> so really, it's Look so at easy. How easy that is. Easy Just to come out. for us. Yeah. And you can see it's, it's got, very I mean, it's easy. almost like it was made for a bobby pin. It does. It looks like right? that. It's got its own little hole there at the top and you can put them in so they're not all, all, not all over the place and in your rug. Yeah. And like I, and I love that idea because I used to keep there. I can never find them in my purse. Quick so, ways to clean your brush. Right. You've got a great tip for us there. The first and the fastest way is to take a pair of scissors just like this and just cut through it. Just cut through it like this. Yeah. Yeah, and it's faster, it's easy, and then all you need to do, once you've cut through it, is use your brush and then take out the extra hair. See how fast that is? Right, because most fast, of fast, us fast. actually go to that step right away. We yeah. don't do the cutting through the, the, the hair. Finally, preheat your brush before you start blow drying your hair. Isn't That's that it. such an easy tip? Pretty easy. But it's going to make it so much easier for you because you already have a heated tool that you're starting with. Yes. Very nice.